lions, tigers, inflation, oh my. What does this mean for you in the housing market? That's exactly what I'm gonna cover. Hi, welcome back to Real Estate Daily. My name is Emmy. I am the producer of this channel. Troy and Ryan will be back from their real estate conference today and will be in office filming for you tomorrow. Back to our regularly scheduled program. If you enjoy these updates, please hit the subscribe button. We've been growing very quickly. We love having every single one of you here. And if you would never, 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 never want to miss any of our news updates, like the inflation report I'm about to bring to you, you should hit the notification button and you will always stay up to date on the latest news. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into our... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, there we go. I'm just telling you guys again <laughs> to hit the subscribe and notification bell. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the news. This is a Fannie Mae projection from uh, DS News stating that a modest recession is on the horizon. They're saying lions, tigers, and inflation. Oh my. The latest commentary on the state of the market for October has been released by Fannie Mae's Economic and Strategic Research Group, which found that due to inflation, monetary policy tightening by the Fed, and a slowing market will tip the economy into a modest recession during the first quarter of 2023. If you have been listening to our channel, Troy has been saying this for months and months and months. So I'm going to show you guys, oh, let me, let me bring this into frame for you. So consumer prices increased 8.2% from a year earlier, down from an 8.3% rise in August and a four decade high of 9.1 in June as climbing food and rent costs again offset falling gasoline prices according to the labor department's consumer price index so i wanted to show a little bit more here there's a there's oh let me let me get it back in frame for you i had to make sure everything would show today and i couldn't just pick one view so if we look at this graph here it shows that inflation came in much faster than expected and this is bad news for this fed so you can see right here nice little <laughs> uptick here there's been a very small downcrease which they they did just mention um but it says plus 6.6 percent excluding food and energy so this is kind of crazy um i <laughs> found some really interesting stories that kind of tie along into this so uh i'm sure troy will be diving into these facts much deeper tomorrow so i'm gonna save that for him I want to speak on something that I am a little more familiar with, which is educated millennials are fueling home ownership demand. So this is really interesting. Oh, let me get this back in frame for you guys. Man, I'm just moving my, uh, <laughs> my display capture everywhere today. So it says that a recent study by First American Financial Corporation, uh, the housing market's typical fall slowdown is more prominent than in the past, as rapidly rising interest rates discourage buyers and sellers from entering the market. The current rising mortgage rate environment continues to make conditions difficult for those attempting to navigate the housing market. However, there are fundamental and long-term drivers of housing demands that will position the housing market to rebound from the current challenging economic conditions with one of those drivers being education. So they're basically saying the more you know, the more money you make and the more likely it is you can buy a home. Um, so millennials pursuit of higher education is good news for the housing market in the long run because education is the key to unlock both greater earning power and in turn home ownership. So there's a little graph here saying that the more educated you are, the more money you make, which is pretty obvious. Our, sell our parents have been selling us that dream for a very long time. If your parent is a baby boomer and you are a millennial, you get the gig, that's how it goes. So I think this is really interesting and I'm curious to see how millennials are going to shape the housing market moving forward. But with, <laughs> with millennials being smart, um, we're also just a little, a little funny and a little strange. And I think the uh, <laughs> housing market having such a low inventory 
is part of what is driving this amazing study that I found. So more than half of buyers would purchase a haunted home in a competitive market. I was dying at this headline. I thought it was so funny. It even breaks down some stats here saying about one fourth of Americans believe they've lived in a real haunted house down from the 44% who said the same in 2021 when people spent more time at home. This absolutely cracks me up. Um, I have been in a haunted house before and in this market, I would probably buy it. <laughs> if that's if that's what I could buy, I would buy it. <laughs> so if you're looking for more education uh, on how to purchase a home, the house heroes are a great resource and we are here to support and educate you. <laughs> you can look into uh, more of our stuff here on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, on our website. We have a lot of different ways that you can reach out and or educate yourself. So now let's get into the rates. Uh, Optimal Blue, this was updated yesterday. 30 year conforming <laughs> is practically at seven guys. Let's just call it seven. Uh, up a tick there, 15 year conforming, pretty much at six. Let's just call it what it is. That did go down. 30 year jumbo, six and a half. Let's just call it six and a half, almost 6.6. .6. This is down a tick. And then 30 year FHA at 6.7, also up a tick. So let's look at this this little graph right here. See how it keeps going up, down, up, down, up. Okay, all right, good to know. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my news that I had to bring to you. Like I said, Troy will be back in office tomorrow and we will be back to our regularly scheduled program of real estate news and shenanigans. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you again and have a good day.